Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today I'll be talking about advanced sketcher inside Katia v5. So uh, in today's tutorial, I'll be talking about how you can assign tolerance values to your sketch constraint or you can say the dimension that you have entered inside your sketch. You can add tolerance values to those dimensions. All right. So let's say if I exit out of the sketch, this is a simple torch body and if I see the sketch it's a complicated sketch with some uh, dimensions to all the required uh, sketch entities now you can enter your tolerance values right inside this 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 sketch itself and to do that all you have to do is you have, once you have uh, um, once you have entered your constraint values uh, like radius and length and all those values you can uh, come to edit multi constraint and you can see all your uh, different constraint like length radius and angle those different constraint so here you have the option to add maximum tolerance and minimum tolerance all right so let's say i want to add tolerance to this 4 mm length so I'll come to this 4mm length from here inside my edit multi constraint and in the maximum tolerance I can say let's say 0 0.001 and in the minimum I can also give 0 0.001 and once I do that I can press OK to confirm and it will be added right away to your dimension so that when it is uh, given for production purpose it will be a more professional sketch all right so just like uh, this you can also add value let's say to the radius so let's say i can add 0 0.001 and this time maybe i can do uh, negative tolerance 0 0.001 and that will be added to your uh, defined constraint value so that's how you can uh, assign the tolerance values inside your sketch and these will make your sketch more professional uh, give your sketch a more professional look and uh, yeah that's it so this is one of the way to add tolerance to your sketch if you have a complicated sketch going on all right i hope you guys like it and if you have any doubts with this one feel free to comment down below i'll see you guys in the next tutorial peace out